Welcome to August 15, 2008, sixth day of the week, preparation day for the Sabbath. Well, brother, time to get into the Lord's care ministry. A light shining from above, day 228 of the year 2008. That God of peace makes you perfect in every good word of His will. Hebrews chapter 13, verses 20 and 21. Now we go over to 2 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 11. Be perfect. Be of good comfort. Be of one mind. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace shall be with you. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 9. By grace you are saved through faith. And that not of yourself. It is the gift of God, not of works, these ten men should boast. James chapter 1 verse 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, and is coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. James chapter 1 verse 17. Now Philippians chapter 2 and verse 13. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God that is working in you, in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. Be you transformed by the renewing of your mind that you might prove what is that is good and acceptable and perfect in the will of God. Philippians chapter 1 verse 11 He came with the fruits of righteousness which are by Jesus Christ unto the glory and praise of God. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 5 Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves but our sufficiency is of God. Sorrows of the believer The patriarchs Patriarchs Example to be to the effect of the a patriarch's example to be affected. Hebrews chapter twelve verse one. Wherefore seeing we also are compassed about, we're so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which is doing so easily beset us. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us. They were bound in her below and wet their couch with tears. They wrestled hard as we do now with sins and doubts and fears. And God's word only to address, never in the tradition of men, is a fellow human, a workman for God, a friend of Christ. God is our refuge and fence. Psalms chapter 46 verse 1. Our God is our refuge and our strength and very present help in trouble. Well, brother, you turn to God for help you're in trouble. You think he hears your prayers? He says if you're not following his commandments, he don't hear you. That is not me saying it. That is your own Bible. And you can find these uh, if you try to look up prayers. Anybody here? Let me look here and see if I can't find this. Oh, I see. I see. It's, uh, I don't seem to find it right now, but it is there. Look it up in your own Bible. And now, uh, well, here we go. Time takes so long here. It says, pray not. God will hear you. Look up the words, pray not. Go to Jeremiah 7, 16. Jeremiah 11, 14. John 7, and verse 9. John 7, verse 15. And he, it says, he will not hear you. Why? Over in Proverbs 28, 9. Prayer is an abomination. That is for those who are trying to follow the tradition of and the Lord's tradition. But yet you want both sides. God says it won't work. If you want him to hear your prayer, you better make an attempt to follow his way. Well, been with that, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. And God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.